All right, that's loose. All right, maybe asking yourself why I take the dick clothes off. Well, it's not that I Couple reasons. One, all this was rusted up, and there's, because it's sandwiched in here, there's really no way to get to that to blast it or clean it up. Um, there's a whole rusty completely through here, which is no big deal. I could have patched that, but you still all have all this rust in here. There's rust in between the seams and everything else. So, at least up to this point here. So, I bought a new deck filler panel, but that's not the only reason. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is because of this right here. Uh, that's rusted. There's no way to get in there unless you want to run a wand up here and try to spray that and hope you get it. And I mean, you do what you got to do with your car. This is my car. I know I'm taking it down to the skeleton. I'm going to sandblast it. I'm going to epoxy everything inside. And so I knew I was going to do it that way. So I, I opted to not go with the wand situation. So what I'm going to do is A and B part. Hopefully it fits well. I don't know. I haven't had it on there yet, so this is the first time fitting it up. Hopefully it's not uh, or dented. I think I took it out of the box to look at it when I first got it, so it shouldn't be, shouldn't be bad. And that's nice. They put the little uh, window channel deals in there. If, uh, if I don't need this going. A, uh, seamless window or whatever that's called, flush window, will come in handy. that are like that are perfect for this because there's a little ridge in there that you got to get past. 
Sometimes these just don't quite, they want to end up smashing that flange. So you really need that, that like that. So either that or sometimes they use these, but that still doesn't give you a whole lot. Let me go find another pair of those. I'm going to go that. So you got the tires kind of mocked up underneath it. Just to, I didn't show you guys that. Actually, they're crooked now, but they're just sitting up underneath there. I'm giving you a very good view of it, but. And those tires will actually be an inch bigger than that. Those are 295s. I'm going through probably 335s underneath it, or I'm going to try to anyway. 345s are pretty much out the window without splicing this, the, the quarters and doing all kinds of that. I don't really want to do that. So, uh, <clears throat> Real nice. This probably could come down just a little tiny bit. Uh, so that's parallel. But other than that, yeah, that's freaking beautiful right there. This one needs to be squeezed in like I did the other one. Let me see if I can find a pair. I think that'll come in a little bit more. Something may be holding it not just right. And that might need to be tapped down just a tad too before it gets welded together. Yeah. It looks like it needs to come back just ever so slightly. So I need to probably trim this. Well, that's not touching, so I may be able to just tap it down up here. Just kind of tap it down a little bit. But yeah, that's that's gonna work freaking beautiful. So there you go. Looks like it's pretty straight too. I don't feel any I don't feel any dents or yep, there's one right there. Cheap. Just a tiny, tiny one, but it's still going to show up if you don't fix it. So, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Hey, I think you can if I go back and forth across there. See that? Just see it in the light. That's what you got to watch for when you're doing your body work. You really got to train your eyes to see all that stuff and get the light just right so when you look down it, you know, you can see that little imperfection. Uh, that's those details are gonna make the big difference because once you paint it you're done you're, it's over it's like oh now you're gonna cry because you got a dent in your fender that you didn't see so <clears throat> that's where that block sanding and the guide coat and all that stuff comes in guide coat guide coat guide coat uh, and not just a little bit of guide coat because I learned that from Matt shut your face garage you really re you really want that panel black against a gray you know background or a or uh, whatever primer you're using. You want an off color that's really gonna show every little scratch, every little ding, all that stuff. Uh, because just a light coat of that, it, you can miss stuff. So I'm just telling you if you want it glass, if you don't want it glass, then do what you do. All right, so I got this where it's going to stay. And uh, I can't see if you can see that, but got this lined up through here this is kind of a funky deal I didn't I didn't realize until I just looked at it a while ago uh, this is supposed to come out and be pretty much even with this line and come straight down um, and on this one they cut a chunk out for some reason uh, I don't know why but I'm gonna have to fab up a little piece that comes straight down right there and bends down and comes over which no big deal but just something else you got to do, right? So, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so, trying to get this as, just as perfect as I can get it. I'm real happy with this down here, but as it comes up the top, just a little tiny bit, it's just a little high. So, I'm going to set you down for a second. I'll show you how I'm remedying that. I've got clamps in there, it's just clamped right now. 
but I'm getting ready to pin, pin it down as soon as I get it where exactly where I want it. So So yeah, just a little bit. A little bit higher right right through there. So I'll take a couple paint sticks and just kind of kind of try to tap that down. Just to get it rocking. This works nice. Then I just drop some more clamps out. This clamp is cheap and it doesn't want to be in the water, but I want to get it better. A little tiny bit. But I think I've got to, I'm going to pin this down. I might go ahead and drill those holes and pull that down with the pins and see if that will pull that down just a little bit. Um, I've got marked here. I'll show you that. Basically, I've got three pin marks. It'll come, come through this under deal here. And then I've got the same, I line the pin marks up with each other. So it'll pull it down evenly. Pin mark there, pin mark here, pin mark there. And I'll have six places to pull that down and that'll pull and attach under here. All that'll have to be welded. Uh, so those, those holes will be plugged back up. But yeah, I need to uh, need to make that. Got all this clamped up. All this is in, pinned up. So everything's looking good. I mean, I can't, I couldn't be happier with the way it's, it's turning out. Um, just yeah, just trying to get these just just right. Looks like there's a little, possibly imperfection, like a, I don't know if that'll, yeah, you can see that line. That might cause me a little issue, but probably what I'll do is once I get this in metal, I'll go ahead and metal file that. Metal file some of that ridge off there and get that sucker just freaking, just like glass across there in metal before I ever put anything else on it. So, yeah. All right, see ya. All right, I went ahead and re-welded these braces. Um, reason why is because this car was bent up so bad when I actually put these braces in to begin with, the whole back end was bent, so I braced it the way it was. Well, now that it's straight, it had to be re-braced. So I cut these loose and re-braced them now that the car's straight and square and the way it's supposed to be. Uh, Make sure everything's level and flush. Run up to the uh, B pillars on both sides. Down here, tack that bar to the back seat braces uh, here and over there. That way when I take those bolts out, I can lift this car, the top of this completely up again and the whole top will be braced just like it is. And the bottom of course is on the frame jig. So I'll be able to set this bracing on this table and roll it outside and blast it once I get this roof off. So you can see I've got all this stuff done, pinned in. Uh, I don't know how little how that'll show, but you can see it come through there. Uh, again, run across this. All this is pinned in, all the way across, tied down, ready to go, pinned in. Uh, that's probably going to be it for today. It's 5.15, so I might have to go back in the house. I'll upload this. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later.